I'm going to explain how to enter your information into ATS or the uh, athletic trainer system. This is our injury tracking software. It also keeps track of all of your pertinent medical information as in uh, pre-existing conditions, um, things of that nature, and uh, your logistical information. It's really, really easy to do, and I'm going to start by telling you guys the web address. <clears throat> it's sim simply atsusers.com, but one trick to that is you have to put HTTPS because it is a secure system. So HTTPS colon uh, two forward slashes and then atsusers.com. Another way to get to the portal is to go through the JUCO website. So just go to jccc.edu. We're at the JUCO homepage. We're going to come down to the uh, athletics link. Click on athletics program here on the right. And then under athletic department, the far tab on the right side, we're going to scroll down to athletic training. Click right. on the ATS portal link. And then, again, on the ATS portal link here, we have the instructions for entering all this information typed out. And then this is where we actually go to enter it. You go to that website or that uh, link, and it brings up this site right here. And if you're brand new to the system, <clears throat> you need to click on ATS Athlete Portal. When you click on that, it's going to come up with this screen here. It talks about an ID and password. Again, if you're brand new to the system, you simply type new for the ID and new for the password. N-E-W for both. The database is A-T-S-J-C-C-C. <clears throat> Click Login. It will ask you to read this <clears throat> and agree. Basically, it's saying you're filling out all this information um, as factual. And so agree with that. If you disagree, it won't let you go on. So you have to agree. Then it comes up with this screen here, General Information. First off, we're going to select the team. If you happen to be on more than one team, you would obviously make that selection down here in teams two and three. Our name, gender, then we're going to do uh, birth date, phone number, and then we have a cell phone number. So basically, a home phone number, then a cell phone number. Obviously, if you only have a cell number, go ahead and put that in there. You will need to put an email address in and a social security number. And before I go on, all these yellow fields must be filled out. They're required. So I have filled them all out. This one here, the text address is white. We don't have to do that. College residence. <clears throat> this uh, really comes into play if you are from out of town. So say your parents live in uh, Missouri, but you live here in Overland Park. You're going to put the address for, uh, for Overland Park here. Now, if my parents live somewhere else, I will put that address here. We've got the two addresses here. If you live <clears throat> with your parents, you simply need to put that address in the college residence address. That's your, quote, main address. We do need a parent's address if your parents live, if you live separate from your parents, just so that we have an address to send, for, uh, for example, medical bills if we need to do that. <clears throat> you do have to select an ID, an athlete ID. Again, alternate ID is a white field, so we don't need to do that. We do need a password, so you will select that yourself. <clears throat> has to be at least eight characters long using numbers and letters. And then you have to select your year. The next thing we have here are our medical alerts, allergies, and current medications you're taking. There's pull-down menus for each. So if you have some type of medical alert, let's say you have sickle cell, sickle cell trait, we'd go ahead and click that. It would pop up here. And obviously, if you have any more, you can click on those as well. Asthmatic, it's a common problem. Allergies, any type of allergy you know of for sure. There's a lot of people allergic to bee stings, so we'll put that. And then any current medications you take on a regular basis. If they are prescribed for you and you take them on a regular basis, we need to have those medications here. And there's many listed. There's, um, you can add some if you need to, but there's, Basically, anything or most things that are going to be a prescription are going to be in here. Zoloft is a common medication. And then we would click verify athlete information. Once it's done, click save. So that is all done. Now we click on the next tab up here, which is medical history. <clears throat> this is a general health questionnaire. 
lots and lots of uh, questions, but all questions we need an answer to. For, answer, or for example, have you ever failed a physical for any reason? And if you answer yes, please explain. We do that in the other information column here. Please take your time and go through each of these <clears throat> questions individually, answer them honestly. And again, if you need to explain an answer, do that in the other information ca uh, column. Also at the top here, if you have had a surgery, you can add them. You can click add um, and it will take you to this screen here. Surgery date, if you did any therapy, put the date completed, the body part the surgery was on, many different choices. If you know the doctor's name, that would be great to know. Um, if you know the hospital, even better. And then any type of procedure, uh, notes, anything like that that we need to know would be just great. And then you would click the check mark to, uh, to add that. So all of my questions are answered. We'll verify again. We will save the medical history. It says save complete. It will tell you if it, if it doesn't work. Let me click on the next tab insurance. So <clears throat> we need to add our insurance. So we'll click the add button up here. Click the button for company. Many different choices. Just about any insurance you're ever going to have is on this list somewhere. Um, the insurance type is usually noted on the card itself. Most are a group PPO. If you or your family has insurance through an employer, that's what we're going to pick today. The payor number Put a one there, you do have to put something in there. <clears throat> Plan type, yeah, don't need that. We do need ID numbers. For, for today, we will certainly use a generic one. And there should be an ID number and a group number on every insurance card. And then we will click this check mark down here to make sure that it adds it. And here it is, it pops up, tells you exactly what you just put in there. So you wanna verify that. Then we're going to move on to contacts. These are emergency contacts to be more specific. So in the event you have some type of an emergency, we need to know who to contact. We will again click the add button up top here. You will put the contact's name here. The contact order uh, would be first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then we will of course put her phone number. Uh, this would be, there's three different spots for phone numbers. If they have a home phone, put it here and then cell number here. And if you wanna put a work phone in there, that'd be great too. And an email if they have it, that would be good to know. Uh, if they are employed in their employer name, those are optional. Not necessarily something we need to know, but if we can't get a hold of them, it's nice to know where they are so that maybe we can find another way to get a hold of them aside from their phone numbers. Again, click the check mark in the lower left corner, and it has the information that you just entered right here. You get to verify it. All right, we're going to click on the Athlete Forms tab to bring down our releases. You would click on here, click uh, Releases Revised 2013. You'll click New, and this list will come up. It has several different releases to read. I highly suggest you read them all. Uh, the first one is Assumption of Risk, basically saying you understand you can get injured playing sports. Second refers to the uh, to privacy, medical privacy and HIPAA. And the third one is a declaration of previous injuries. Uh, you need to tell us about any type of major injury you've had within the last three years. The next one re, uh, deals with JCCC athletes are required to see JUCO team physicians. And it goes into further detail as to whether or not uh, you can or cannot go see your own doctor. Consent to random drug testing and then an overall agreement. As you'll notice, there's only places to check yes, because if you check no, you cannot compete for JUCO. So we have to click yes on all of them. And then we have to sign with your mouse. So put your name there, your best signature, and then type your name here. Click sign and it will tell you that it was signed by the ath student athlete. You also have to have your parents sign it with you to say that they read it and understand it. Same deal, sign in the box, and then type the name below, click sign, and now it's signed by both. Click the save button, and that will finish that part. That is uh, it, that's the basics of it. Um, if you need 
to download some type of ele electronic files, as in doctor's notes for an operation or some type of illness you have, you can do that here. You can type the description, uh, and then you can browse uh, through your computer to find those files and then click upload to do that. One thing you do need to remember is to always write down your, your ID and your password. If you need to log out to find certain information as an in insurance information, you can log out and then come back in and do it, but you do have to have your ID and your password with you. Um, and again, that's, that's the basics of this, of this uh, system. Again, your information will be very confidential. It's only viewed by the athletic trainers and we do not sell your information uh, in any way, shape, or form to anybody else outside of Johns County Community College.